so brisk and stiff and spry. Oops. Not where I meant. <laughs> With a springy step and a jaunty plume and a purposeful look in his eye. In his little black laughing eye. So I took him to the coop and introduced him to my 17 wide-eyed hens. And he tucked and he tucked as a hero tucks and he bowed to them all and then he up and took them all again. <laughs> then upon the piece of my ducks and geese he boldly he did intrude. And with glazed eyes and open mouths, they bore him with fortitude. <laughs> and a little bit of gratitude. <laughs> he jumped my giggling guinea fowl. He thrust his attentions upon twenty hysterical turkeys and a visiting migrant swan. <laughs> and the phantom thundered on. Pigeon doves, my lily white columbine. And while I was looking at me, Budger Agar, he jumped my parrot from behind. <laughs> and he was sitting on me shoulder at the time. <laughs> a gasp and a gulp. <laughs> he clapped his wings to his head. He lay flat on his back with his feet in the air. Oh. Me poor bantam cock was dead. Oh. And the vultures circled overhead. <laughs> <laughs> what a noble beast, what a champion cock. <laughs> what a way to live and to die. As I dug him a grave to protect his bones from those hungry buzzards in the sky, the phantom opened up his eye. <laughs> and he gave me a wink and a terrible grin. <laughs> the way that rapists do. He said, do you see them silly daft buggers up there? <laughs> They'll be down in a minute or two. 